Today is January 1st, 2021. Happy New Year. My name is Denise Perez. So today's project is something that I've been seeing all over the internet. I saw one the other day at Target. It's this beautiful circular vase with a hollow middle. So we're going to be doing that with this air dry clay that I've never used before. So we'll see what happens. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. These are the materials you'll need for today's DIY. For the vase, you're going to need some air dry modeling clay. I'm using a DOS brand that I got off of Amazon, which I'll link down below. A knife, a sharpened pencil, parchment paper and masking tape to protect your surface, a cup of water. For painting the vase, we're using a really cool baking soda technique, so you're going to need some baking soda, white or off-white acrylic paint, Anything that is water-based will work. A paintbrush, some paper towels, and a cup of water for cleaning off your brush. And finally, for styling the vase, you'll need faux eucalyptus leaves or any other faux plant will work. You could also use real dried leaves. Uh, that would work as well. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do here is uh, rip up a piece of this parchment paper and tape it down with my masking tape to protect my surface a little bit. One more little piece. All right, now we're ready to work. So the next thing I need to do is grab my modeling air dry clay. I am using this DOS brand. So this is the block. This is the the length it came in in the package. And I am just simply going to mark about an inch and a half from the edge. Um, and that's about the width I'm gonna start using. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. I'm just gonna take my pencil and just kind of squish in a little mark there. All right, and I don't have any like real clay tools, so I'm just using a knife and I'm gonna go ahead and cut along those marks I just made. Tear this piece off. So this is what I'm gonna use and this is probably more than I need, uh, but I can just break it off later. And I am going to make sure that I store the rest of my clay back in the package because if you leave it out, um, it'll just harden and dry. Now is the fun part. I'm just going to start rolling it. The next step, I took this lid, and this lid is about, let me see, like a little less than three inches in diameter. So what I did with my other one was I took the lid and I started kind of wrapping it around here. And um, I started making my shape that way. Uh, you could also, if you don't have a lid, you could also probably just kind of eyeball like a circle on the parchment paper and draw a circle and kind of let that be your guide. So what I'm going to do here, just going to kind of circle it around here and I'm going to cut it. All right, so I'm going to cut it to about... I'm gonna say like here and see what happens. 
So this is extra. I want to give it, so I'm going to cut this one too, just to give it a, like a straight edge here. So what I'm going to do is kind of do this thing, kind of join it here, and just to see what kind of shape I want this to take. And I like that. I think that's a pretty good size. So when you're happy with the shape and the size of your vase, you're going to just simply kind of put the ends together. We're not doing with anything with these ends yet. So just leave it there and we're gonna let this dry for about four hours. All right guys, so it's been four hours now and for this next step, you're going to need just a sharpened pencil. So. What you're going to do is take this apart and carefully you're going to poke a hole in the center. And this is where the stems are going to go when you put in like little plants or little flowers. And just be very careful not to poke through the vase and if you do go through the vase it's totally fine at this point you can still fix it you can grab some water uh, and fix the spot smooth it out um so at this point let's see i've gone in about three inches or so um into the pencil so i am going to do the same thing on the other side <laughs> So I have two little holes on each end where the stems of the flowers or plants that I want to put in the vase are going to kind of slide through. So now what I want to do is join this together. And to do that, I'm going to score the ends. So to do that, I'm just going to kind of do some little lines crossing them, little crosses all across here so that it's kind of nice and rugged and do the exact same thing to the other end. So what I'm going to do next is just grab a little bit of water and just kind of smother it on one side. And then I am going to push them together. And I am going to pinch along the edge of where I joined the two ends. I'm just kind of pinching all along there. And it's okay if it's looking a little bit ugly, a little rough, because we're gonna fix that with a little bit of water. So you're gonna grab some water on your fingers and you're just going to smooth everything out. I'm not worried about the cracks, but I do want this to hold up and of course not come apart. So we're just going to keep working where we join the two ends together. So I'm just going to let this sit just until kind of like the surface dries and then I'm going to come back and poke a little hole at the top where we're going to put in our little stem or plant, um, anything like that. So I'm going to let this sit for about half an hour and then I'll be back.
All right, guys, so it's been about 30 minutes, maybe less, I'm a little bit impatient. So what I'm going to do now is poke the hole right where we joined the two ends. So I am going to um, pick it up and I am going to carefully I'm gonna do a hole in the center. Being careful, I'm holding it at the bottom here so it doesn't um, fall apart on me. So I'm hoping that when I poke this hole, I find some of those other holes that we poked in the other, on the ends earlier. And kind of what I'm looking to do is just kind of join all of the three holes sort of like into one. Now we have something that looks sort of like this and now what we're going to do is use our water to try and smooth everything out as best we can. At this point, I'm also going to start sitting it, sitting it up straight. So I'm going to put my fingers sort of in the middle. Um, pushing down at the bottom to try and make it into a flat base so that this can stand. So at this point, I'm not going to let it dry this way. I'm just starting to flatten this out. Um, so if you see it, it's standing now, but I really want it to harden so that it's a little bit taller so it's not so like squished. I'm gonna let this sit overnight and it's not going to harden and we'll still have an opportunity to fix any of the cracks or wrinkles and perfections that are on this and we'll come back to it tomorrow. All right, so it has now been about eight hours since the last time that I worked on this vase. And I am going to pick it up, starting to harden. The back is still pretty wet. I just want to make sure that this top hole doesn't close up on me. So I'm just going to wiggle my pencil through again. So now what I'm just going to do is you can still just kind of work at the top and any cracks you might have, making sure that they're hide them as best as you can. All right. So now this is where I'm going to start to really shape the base. So what I'm going to do is put my fingers and then just push down and then smooth out to the sides kind of back and forth. I don't want to like squish it too much so that it's like completely flat, but I do want it to stand. So I'm just working at it until, you know, until I find like, and like you can still shape this. It's still moving on me. So I'm put a little pressure down and you can see it's starting to just stand up on its own and not lose its shape. to leave it alone uh, I'm gonna put it here well let's put it here it's gonna sit there I'm gonna let it dry a whole uh, the whole day so I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow and then we'll see what it looks like it is now the next day and our cute little vase has hardened it hasn't hardened all the way but enough so that we can paint it and today I am going to show you how to use this really cool baking soda technique to paint our little vase. So in order to do this, you're going to need, of course, some baking soda. 
you're going to need paints. Uh, I am using a white and this off-white color called Parchment uh, by Artist Loft, and I got this at Michael's. I'm also going to need a little bit of water, of course, a paintbrush, a paper plate to mix our paints, and just some paper towels. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix my paints. So I'm going to squirt some of this white onto my plate. That's good. And I'm also going to squirt some of this parchment color, just a little bit less, just to mix it. And just, just to soften the white a little bit. So what I'm going to do is start mixing them until I get the color I want. So once you're happy with your color, now it's time just to add some baking soda. So I am going to sprinkle a little bit on the side just to grab from there. So I have like a big pile of baking soda. And what I'm going to do next is just start kind of brushing the baking soda over to my paint. And I'm going to add little by little until I like the consistency. And I'm looking for cons consistency that is a little bit thick. I want my base to look pretty grainy. So the more baking soda you add, the grainier it'll be. want it even even grainier than this so I'm just gonna add a little more baking soda so now I'm gonna set this aside and it's time to paint our cute little vase okay so um you just start painting it really So what I'm going to do is let it dry and then we are going to style it. All right, so it's been about an hour and our vase is so cute. I love how it turned out. It's better than I expected. So now what I'm going to do is add some faux eucalypt eucalyptus leaves that I got off of Amazon and I'll link these down below, but you could literally add eucalyptus leaves, any other type of faux plant with little stems like this, or um, you could add maybe some dried eucalyptus, some dried leaves would be really cute too. So this pack came um, with five stems. I've already used two of them, um, but I'm going to show you how I inserted them into the vase. So I grabbed one. They already come separated one by one. And what I'm going to do here is cut it with some wire cutters because the stem is longer than I need. So I think I'm going to cut it just a little bit here. And of course, because these leaves are in the way, I'm going to have to cut them off. All right, and let's see how this looks. Okay, so I have one. I think I'm going to cut it just a little bit more at the bottom. And insert it through the holes we poked earlier. And look how cute! I love it. I'm going to put one more in here. And I think I want it to be a little bit shorter than this one. So I think I'm going to cut it to like about here. 
Um, so I'm gonna cut two of these leaves off. Got this. And now I'm going to insert it through the other hole we poked earlier. I'm going to cut it a little bit more. As you can see, some of this clay is coming up uh, from the hole. And that's because it, this hasn't dried all the way. But don't worry, it'll dry with time. So... Cut off more. And there we go. Look how cute. I love this project. This was my first time working with air dry clay and I'm so happy with how this turned out. I think I'm going to put this on my desk or I don't know. I'm going to have to find a happy home for it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you decide to make this little vase, I would love to see how it turned out. If you enjoyed today's video and loved today's project as much as I did, please subscribe to my channel for future DIYs. Until next time, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. My name is Denise Perez. Uh, this is the end result. As you can see, it's very grainy and has a lot of different feel to it it didn't take long at all you can literally pull these out and then pull them back in and you can put different things in there and make it look nice and cute and yeah it, it's just a nice project for everyone okay bye love you guys